So in shamatha practice, uh, it says that if you find that you have more problems, you have more challenges dealing with the desire, then there's one way to practice. If you have more problem with the anger and hate, then there is a, another type of meditation. Same for ignorance or jealousy, arrogance. And desire has two. Desire or attachment to person or desire attachment to things, personal things. But here, they are more f in the meditation practice, it is more focused on person or body. So the practice is to focus on one's own body, nature. It is not to make our body look better or worse. It is just to see the reality of body. The purpose is just to see. So if one finds that the desire problem is greater than any other poisons, then one should focus on this meditation. That is to scan your body. and visually, inwardly, see your body. From top to bottom, from surface level, the skin level, all the way inside, and all the contents of body, the bone, flesh, skin, and all other things. The text, Buddhist text list, I think 36 various things um, that they pay attention to. And then not only what we have right now, then one can also, if that is not enough, then one can also imagine um, a body after the death, a corpse, one day corpse, two day, three day. You know, we imagine that uh, there is a body in the graveyard. Charnel, isn't it? Right? Charnel? You left. Leave the body there. So after some time, it changes its color. So there's all the change effect will take place. And eventually you cannot tell who this person is. And we're not doing anything. We're not adding or removing anything. But the, the body... It's showing its own nature. And then you can even go into meditating on skeleton. That's after that, skeleton. Maybe with bones and tendons. And so on. That's the practice. <clears throat>